Now, dramatic new video. A teenager stranded on a kayak, helpless and alone in the dark for hours. Rescuers plucked her out of the water in the middle of the night. That 17-year-old girl is safe with her family tonight, thanks to the Coast Guard. And tonight we are hearing from her and from the Coast Guard crew who helped save her life. Jeff Patterson joins us now live at the Coast Guard Air Station in Clearwater. And Jeff, this story could have ended much differently. Yes, but thanks to a Coast Guard helicopter crew from the air station here in Clearwater and Coast Guard boats and other vessels in the water, we can report tonight a 17-year-old girl is alive and doing well. This is night vision video from the actual rescue, taken by a Coast Guard helicopter crew just after they found 17-year-old Carlin O'Neill floating four miles out in the Gulf. Uh, it was definitely a great feeling. The Coast Guard crew was able to spot her just after 10.30 at night. She first started drifting at 2 p.m. I'm okay, kind of sore, exhausted, but lucky. It was O'Neill's first time in a kayak. She was with family members, but became oh separated after a large boat nearly capsized her kayak and she lost her paddle. During the day, I was pretty relaxed because I, I saw that the Coast Guard was looking for me. Like, I could see the helicopters in the distance. And then once night came, I kind of got scared because it's a lot harder to find someone then. Despite her problems, the Coast Guard tells us she did a lot of things right. We had ideal search conditions for this search. Um, the, uh, the survivor did everything right. Uh, she stayed with the kayak. She had her life jacket on. Um, she luckily had water on board. She didn't attempt to swim to shore. Um, all these factors definitely played in her favor. The Coast Guard helicopter stayed on scene until a rescue boat could reach her on the water. We do stuff like this all the time, and it's not always a great outcome. So when you have something like this, where you actually find find the person, especially you know being a being a teenager, you uh, you have a good feeling, and you you know that you you help somebody out today. Carlin was suffering for a little mild hypothermia last night, but really, other than just a slight case of sunburn, she seems to do, be doing very well tonight. And Stacy, we really can't say enough great things about the brave men and women from the Coast Guard who sometimes make life-saving operations look relatively easy, although they're not. One lucky young lady, and she did a lot of things right, as you said. Thanks. Jeff Patterson, live in Clearwater.